Hello and welcome back to Timberborn. We have a drought coming in three days. We left off last time working on this beautiful masterpiece here with the mud baths and everything. It's looking super nice. We got the engine going and powered our first mud bath. So it looks like they're working on the rest of these well on their way. Very, very exciting. So let's take a look and see how we are coming along for the drought. We have water and food. We have water and food. And this is still taking forever to get built but it is coming along. We actually have quite a bit of planks. We have a ton of planks in this district and we have an okay amount of planks in this district. So that is very exciting. We no longer have a plank deficit. Looks like this guy needs to be paused. And we did start the Golfoss Falls in honor of Iceland district up here. What we're working on think was trees yes trees but I don't think yeah we don't have a forester or do we oh we don't have any unemployed beavers that would be the issue so maybe if we pause this and then we unpause it yeah that should be good and now we should have Vriska in here planting away. So this side needs some like housing and stuff, but this is going to be our resort district. So what I'm thinking, let's take a look at our housing. So we have these barracks that look like this. Maybe if we pause, we can kind of place these and compare okay so we have the large barrack and the regular barrack that to me oh I see they're like a different depth and then we have the large row house and the small row house so let's kind of think about this. If we do the large barrack, we have 16. That could be kind of nice if we did maybe like, I'm envisioning almost like a tiered setup here. So if we do, you know, something like that. And then if we put these up this way, maybe like that. And then I kind of want to do like another level behind this. So you know what? This is what I'm thinking. We'll turn this around and do a regular barrack this way. And then we'll put in, I think it's a double platform there and then we'll do another barrack there so it kind of has like that illusion of like multiple levels maybe and then I kind of want to try and get another level back here somehow so what we could do is maybe put another barrack here another barrack here maybe platforms here and then we can do another large row house up this way I can't tell if this is the same height I think it is so we'll do this going this way with a platform across 
And then we'll do stairs here. The goal is from this side for it to look like multiple levels, kind of like stairs, sort of. And then we'll probably need to dynamite down just like a little bit of this area here. Okay, and I think we have enough of an idea where we can hit play. And then we'll do another barrack that way. We'll pause that one so that it doesn't get built before they can dynamite this. And then we probably need platforms here. And then we need a path from this one over that way. And we'll do like a little shrub in there. And then we need a platform. I'm thinking we'll do a double platform to a single platform with stairs here. Lovely. And then we just need to connect up this one with stairs there. Maybe we'll do another shrub on this side. So this will be like a little resort on a cliff kind of thing. And I think we can keep going even a little bit further. So we'll have the other large row house here. Maybe we do some like rooftop terraces up here. And then we'll have to figure out a way to connect those up. So we probably need maybe a platform this way, platform this way platform from here to here to here and then we can path across that do stairs down here stairs there you know what we're actually just going to triple platform here and then bring this down this way and connect it in the path there. Lovely. Yeah, I think that looks really nice. And we can even put like a little roof situation. I think it's this one on here and then we'll do the same thing on the other one. And we could put a little bit of a roof here and here. Yeah, we'll have to see how that looks. Um, I mean, we even have more back here, but I think this should be like, hopefully plenty for now. And we could probably turn back on some of the breeding pods, but I think we should figure out maybe a food situation for them first. And I'm going to high prioritize the dynamite so we can get the last building put in. Oh, lovely. That looks so cool. We have seven unemployed beavers in this district, so I'm going to turn that back on and up the jobs in here. They're not really building anything right now, though, except for this, like, one little thing over here that we don't have enough supplies for. Oh, and it is low priority. So you know what? Maybe we should kind of up the priority of this and see if we can get that built so that we can actually check that out. And it says these are too far for anyone to build. So I'm not sure if maybe we need to like add in a path or something. Perhaps. We'll high prioritize that. That should get built really fast. And then we can add in one more here as soon as that's built. There we go. Yeah, so it doesn't look like they, they can reach it. Let's take a look. It's just short of being able to reach. So I'm wondering if maybe we could try a couple of things. We could try extending this path through here and see if... I think that means they can reach it, I think. They might not be able to reach these this one. 
but they should be able to reach all of these. And then we'll have to find a way to maybe cut down some of these trees so that they can get to this one. And we are in an eight day drought. So we need to, I'm like so turned around and facing the other way. We need to come over here and pause, I think most of these. Maybe we'll leave two. And then we probably should pause most of these. Maybe we'll leave one. And they did finish this dynamite here, so we can blow that part up and put in a large row house. I think it was facing this way. So we'll do that there, and then we can put the roof in on top of it. That one there. And then we do need a path. I think the easiest way would be to just connect it here and build a path over like that. That should work, but this is coming along very nicely. It is saying something is not connected. And you know what? Did I not connect that? Is it like facing the opposite way? And I definitely... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I definitely like put these right next to these and didn't think about connecting those. Whoops. So what we will need to do is actually put like a platform of sorts. I think here and here and then we need a path in there and a path here we might need to delete one of these yep that's what we're going to do. We're going to put a path through there. And then we can build our regular barrack on top of this. And actually that looks even better. And maybe we'll do like a roof on top instead of the patio thingy. Yeah, so we'll do that. And I actually like the look of that quite a bit more. But now we need to figure out a way to get this down. So I think we will just go like this and connect these over here. And then do one set of stairs for both of them like that. And then we'll put a path in through there. And now we can put some more breeding pods in this bit here. And that way they're kind of hidden too, so it looks a little bit nicer. Okay, crisis adverted, we are good. Okay, so while I was over on this side, I was noticing that basically all of our storage is full, including our log piles. And we are getting a lot of trees that I don't think they can harvest because everything is full so I'd like to expand this a little bit more and put in a couple of large log piles maybe we'll do so we just added four more of these that should help a little bit with our storage situation and I think we could also probably add a couple more of these and we'll just do something like this not the most efficient setup, but I think that should work. Now that we have the log piles set up, looks like they are actually able to start chopping down these trees again. So we should be able to keep going and increase our wood production now. And I do wanna make sure that these guys over here have enough food and water. Um, the biggest issue I have is that there's not really a way because we used up this whole like river here. There's not really a way for us to get water to them. There is a way for us to do food, however. So what I'm wondering is if maybe we should clear this planting area 
And if we should try to put in a farmhouse, if we clear all of this, and then we can do maybe the path over this way. Yeah, I think that should work. And we will just go ahead and demolish these so that we can get the path in there. And that should hopefully be able to reach. It might not though. So let's pause building that. You know what, maybe we should just try and move it closer actually. If we put it here, it still can reach most of that area over there. So I think we might just put it like right in here as soon as they demolish these trees. So let's actually just demolish all of this there. And we do have one unemployed beaver. Lovely. So we can make this beaver, I think, do we have any berries going in here? You know what, maybe some of these should actually be berries. Yeah, I think that would be good. And let's prioritize planting the berries. And then we'll employ our gatherer so that when those are ready, they'll have something to do. We have five and a half days left of the drought. So let's take a look at our water levels. I think we could probably lower this a little bit. So the issue we have in this district is that during the dry season when the water wheels aren't working, we only have one power wheel powering everything. And because we paused all of these water pumps except for one, we actually have quite a few unemployed beavers. So what I'm thinking is that maybe, what was going on here? I don't remember what I was doing with that. Um, maybe what we should do is look at putting in some sort of like power wheel setup. So if we replace this, oh, this is a high power shaft. Interesting. So if we replace this with a T-shaft and dynamite this little bit, and then do a high power shaft here, we could get power up to this area, and we could put in a load of power wheels. Maybe what I'm thinking is actually like on the water. Does mean we are gonna have to delete this path. And we are gonna have to try and fix this one here. And I don't know if they can reach it, but we're going to find out. And then we'll put in the high power shaft there. And then we'll delete this path. I don't think that's really being used for anything anyways. And we'll put this in. And then we should be able to connect all of these up here. Now that is only two power wheels, so that's 100 horsepower. Which is not that great. They need a thousand horsepower. And that would mean we would need 20 of these power wheels. Which is quite a lot. The other option we have is we could put in another engine. But I feel like that engine is like destroying the amount of wood that we're getting. So we have three days left in our drought. I think we can probably unpause one of these. Um, I don't think we have enough water. Maybe we could unpause one more. Looks like they should be able to get this going here pretty soon. And then we'll have these two up and running. I would like to find a way to put a few more in though. So if we could do a high power shaft from here to there. And then if we could put in think double platforms through here however I don't know if they can reach all of these but we're gonna try yeah I think something like that and maybe if we did like a path through here maybe they could reach most of these maybe and what I want to do is put a bunch of power wheels up here 
And all this dried out. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. No. I do this every time. So it does look like they're able to reach most of this. And then what we can do is put like a bunch of power wheels going along here, like a path through here maybe, depending on how far they can reach. Perhaps we'll even actually try to find a way to connect this path up and over. To give them just like one more point of access and make it a little bit closer. I think something like that should help. Yeah, and they're getting to all this pretty quickly, so we should be able to see that up and running here soon. Unfortunately, not in time for the dry season to be over because we only have one and a half days left in the drought. And let's check on this one. So they are building this quite nicely. It's looking very, very good. Um, they are doing okay on storage, but yeah, the biggest thing for them is water. And I'm wondering if we should put in any other houses behind here to kind of like beef up this area just a little bit more. I kind of think we should. If we could like put some up here on like a triple platform so that they look really tall. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do... one of these there. And I want to try to connect this in here somehow. And the drought has ended. Lovely. So we are going to drain all this water because we did run out of water again. So we're going to do that just to get us through the little bit of today until the water actually comes back from here. And I guess we could probably lower this a little bit too. So back over here, I added in a couple more of these just for some height. And then we'll just put on some rooftop decorations here and here. And it's saying something is not connected, but I think it's just that, which is perfectly fine. Let's take a look at how this area is coming along. Oh, they are almost done. That is looking really nice. So what we need to do is create a path through here. So they're almost done building this. And what we need to do is plan out where we're putting these power wheels. So I think we will kind of do, I think they make more sense this way. Maybe here and do, oh, we can only fit one that way. Maybe we can almost like stagger them a little bit and then we can back them up against each other like that. We'll have to add in another platform here. But I don't want them to build these until we get the power line set up through here. So let's start by putting the path in. So that's going to go through here like that. And then we need to connect in. Oh, we need to turn all the water pumps back on. <gasps> oh my gosh. I always forget to do that. So I'm just finishing connecting these up. Um, the only problem is we get down to this end and maybe what we could do is do another platform through here and maybe we could get rid of that. And go kind of like up and over. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to have to do. We'll have to put this in here and then do a turn shaft there and then a straight shaft there. And that way we can get power over to this side too and connect all of that in. I do 
want them to high prioritize building this so that these are connected. And I think we can hit play now that all of this is up and running on building out those. And what I'm thinking is that if we could get power over, why is this flooding? Wait a second, oh my gosh, everything is flooded again. How do I always do this? Okay, so we are still flooded. I don't know what I did. Maybe, oh, oh my gosh. Cannot believe I did that. Okay, so uh, what we need to do is probably demolish quite a bit of these. I'm not really sure if they can reach these. That's the only potential dilemma. So I'm just gonna mark all of these for demolition and see if they can reach them. And then in the meantime, we will connect over this with a high power shaft here. And I think what I want to do is put in power wheels going this way. Oh, but we need like almost like a high power shaft with like more than one connection. Yeah. That's kind of annoying. So we lose a little bit of space there. I think it still works. We'll still just do maybe a straight shaft through here and then a T shaft here and then a power wheel here. And then we'll eventually do um, obviously a path in here and we'll do another power wheel here and maybe we should actually pause building this too to see if they can reach these i'm going to mark some of these high priority and see if they can get to them i don't think they can so we'll probably need to do stairs going down in order for them to reach those and let's just make sure this path reaches yeah that should reach i don't remember why this was paused oh i don't think it really turns no, it doesn't. So sad. But we could raise these up another level, couldn't we? Like we have, I think, enough levies. Oh yeah. I don't know why we weren't doing that sooner. I feel like we could even raise these up another level too. Unless it floods this part up here? I don't think it does. Oh my gosh, would you look at that? Like these actually kind of turn. I don't know how because it's still not touching the water. But it's somehow turning. Maybe like that tiny little bit of water. It's like literally not touching the water. And it does kind of flood this area over here. That's the only downside of raising this one up. So maybe we should actually keep that one a little bit lower. Yeah, now both of these turn. And I don't think this one is touching any water still. Oh, it is. See, look at that. Now it's touching a little bit of water. Interesting. But for some reason, it's like flooding everything. I kind of want to get this scrap metal cleared out. So I'm thinking I'll put a few more people on that since we have some extra unemployed beavers. And we'll go ahead and do a couple of scavenger flags here. And then we'll need to do stairs down, I'm realizing, because I don't think they can reach them. So they demolished most of the trees over here, so I'm just working on putting in a couple more of these. And I think we can't fit another one here, so maybe we'll have to just look at going along this side and putting like two in here. And if we do that, we can then path this over this way 
And then once again, we'll need a high power shaft to go from here to there and back down to go over the path. Which means we'll need another one of these here. And then we'll need a tourney shaft, maybe a straight shaft, and then a tourney shaft to connect it into here. Yeah, so I think that should be good. These are going to be all of our summer jobs when we pause the water pumps. But I think all of that should connect up. It looks like it. So we'll see, we'll see. But that would give us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten summer jobs. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten water pumps. It's almost perfect. For some reason, our power output is still very, very bad. I'm thinking it's because this isn't built. And so this whole area over here is not connected. So they're basically running for no reason because they can't get all the materials for this. It looks like we're just waiting on gears. And we do have a gear workshop. So maybe we should pause actually a couple of these. So I did not realize that these stairs go to nothing. So I'm going to have to dynamite that. And then we'll do a set of stairs going up. And then we'll put this in, I think, like that. These are coming along pretty slowly. I think gears and the treated planks are taking quite some time for them to get. We do have a little bit more power than we actually need so we could look at putting in a wood workshop it would kind of cut our power back quite a bit though since it's 250 horsepower so i think maybe what we actually need to do is maybe send over some gears this way since they're just not really making any so let's add a new route to here for gears and we'll only send them 10 although I think they are using the gears to help build out these or maybe that's this group I don't really know No, it's definitely this one. So maybe we should actually send them like 50. I cannot figure out for the life of me why this is not getting built when it's high prioritized and we have gears now. So like maybe we just need to go like that. It doesn't say that they can't reach it though. They must be, you know what they're doing? They're putting all the gears in here. So if we put that down a peg, if we come back over here, that somebody should bring a gear here pretty quickly. And there we go, we finally got the gear. So this is all finally hooked up now. So we can turn these back on. But we don't have any workers. So, I think we'll need to pause a few of these. Alright, so they finished building the stairs on this side, so if we put in a farmhouse here... I don't think it's going to reach that far. No, it's really not. I was kind of hoping it would reach a little bit further, so we might just have to put it in here. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. And we'll path along this way. And then on this side, I think what we'll plant are... Probably not anything that requires grilling. Maybe we'll just keep it simple and do carrots, since I don't think we'll have that many jobs on this side. We are going to need to put in some storage on this side as well. 
So let's go ahead and do something like this. I don't think we'll need too many log piles. Maybe like two should be enough. But we will need a couple of these large storage warehouses. Okay, so we have stairs going from here. We have this path connected. So if we go up, we can then put in another large warehouse, I think. So yeah, there we go. I think that should be enough storage for this side. They have like two log piles three large warehouses. I don't think they'll need much more than that. So that should be good. And this one is planting carrots all through here. So we can actually go a little bit further, like out to here. Maybe one more row. Now the roofs, it's saying, are too far to be built. Which is kind of a bummer, because it really would complete the whole look. So we might need to do some sort of like scaffolding up here. Maybe like that. And we have another drought in three days oh my goodness already but this is saying we don't have power oh now we do now we do okay but oh no these aren't connected I am so stupid <gasps> what are we gonna do well I think that might be a problem for next episode. So I think we'll leave this one here for now. We have our new power wheel district up and running. We, ooh, ooh, what is this? Our efficient mine is now up and running. So we can select scrap metal or scrap metal efficient. So this takes a treated plank, scrap metal, and dynamite and makes six scrap metal. I don't think that's worth it. This is a gear and a treated plank, and it makes three scrap metal. We do have a fair bit of dynamite, I think. 237. So we could do that. But to be honest, I don't think we really need more scrap metal. We have 2,700 that we're not currently using. So after all that, building it, I kind of want to pause it. I mean, it does look cool. So we'll have to figure out like a good use for building this because that took a lot of resources to build and I just don't see why it would be worth it with how much scrap metal we have. But for now, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think, and I will see you in the next one.